Yo, what's good? My name is Young Dems and I'm on a project on Imola. Yeah, so the concept of Girls Like You was to kind of just make everyday love songs like directed to women. And Uche and Boy um, just sent beats over to me and we came up with the concepts along the way of like making the songs. And we just felt like all the stuff we were seeing online in terms of like violence against women on Twitter, on Instagram, it just, it kind of inspired us to, you know, like take it in more, um, women female oriented direction you know and i guess it turned out pretty cool so yeah you know we kept it <laughs> so the first song is um electric um with that song the way boy produced the beat i just felt like i needed to give it you know a very afro fusion vibe but familiar you know to people in ghana because that's where i'm from and that's the first song so um it's basically like um me telling a girl that I'll give you, I'll give it to you, you know, I'll give you everything. And, you know, because black women deserve everything, man, you know, like they're the most discriminated human beings on the planet. So it was only fair to start with something like that. Um, so the second track is called Dangerous. And, you know, I felt like I needed to make a song that was a bit, you know, wild and a bit up tempo, um, especially considering the way the beat is. Um, I chose the title Dangerous because you know, oftentimes like black women in general are always portrayed as like um, the people who suffer. But like, I wanted to show people that there's like a side to, you know, black women that you haven't seen before. They're dangerous, you know, they're, they're wild, they're vibrant, they're energetic, and that's why people are scared of them. So yeah. Um, third track, Anita, which is a personal favorite of mine, is just like, um, Honestly, I didn't really have too many ideas in my head when I was making the song. I just feel like I made the melodies guide me. I, I actually recorded the melodies before I even like wrote anything. And that's because um, when I heard the beat, the production, Boy had like played it in this Persian, Arabic, you know, it, it was very inspirational to me, like to have to listen to like actual Arabian music and then, you know, put my melodies on top. Then after I just figured out the lyrics that would fit a love song. And you know, I don't know, I like the name Anita, so I guess it just stayed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, the fourth track is Confident. And you know, uh, it's like an R&B slash, you know, Afro swing song. And um, obviously as usual, the beat always di dictates how I would approach it. But um, you know, with regards to like the title and the lyrics, you know, I was like, fuck it, Charlie, let me just really like talk about something important here, you know, the confidence of women and how attractive and inspiring it is. You know, when we've got people like, for example, Amare in the Ghana music industry, you know, and she's trying different things. She's just setting her own pace, you know, and it's very inspiring to see something like that, even as like a male artist. So, you know, shouts to Amare and, you know, all the confident girls out there, you know, fucking love that. Yeah. Virgil, that's the last song. Um, you know, like when I heard the beat, I was like, Charlie, let me just flex. Like, I, I don't I don't need to, to say anything sensible, but I feel that the only thing I have to say about that song is it was inspired by like the girls who like really, you, you look at her and you're like, damn, I have to drip before I see this girl, you know? So I have to really make myself look spec, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's why it's called Virgil because who else other than like a Ghanaian icon, Virgil Abloh, he's changed the, you know, the fashion scape and you know, like he's one of my role models. I really look up to him and, you know, hence the name Virgil. So yeah, most deaf. That's the last song. Yeah. My project is a warning, you know, a warning, serious warning, because this is just like a small piece of what I have to offer as an artist. You know, I don't think anybody is going to expect what I'm about to do next over the next couple of years. And you know, I'm just allowing you to get used to me right now because you're going to be seeing a lot more of me. So, yeah, so even though most people know me as a producer, um, I actually didn't produce anything, like not even one sound on this whole project. Um, most of it was handled by Boy and Uche, but you know, obviously when they were about to send a beat, I would like give my input. I'm like, oh, I think you should throw this in before you send it, or if I'm done, then I'll be like, okay, I'm done with the song. Here's what you guys should do. So I, with the production, I think it was a very smooth process. We did everything in about a week. 
or so you know they just send beats then i knock it then we're like okay clear and um you know being a producer like it's it, it's a bit easier to give instructions because it's like everyone is on the common ground they understand each other and because we're all we all make beats we all know how to you know compose a song so yeah you know it was, it was very smooth and i enjoyed working with producers which i know because you know it just makes my sound come out more so yeah so girls like you is um on every like basically everywhere apple music spotify audio mac boom play tidal you know the whole lot so you guys should go and cop it you know just you know feel free so on twitter and instagram uh, my username is yung underscore d3mz so that's the spelling of my name um and you can find me on apple music on spotify and audio mac you know follow me and you know just follow up with me and you know yeah <laughs> So I'm Young Dems and this has been the project on Imola.